welcome man whoa this car been sitting for a while wow welcome back to the channel man looks like a 300 the hood is partially open it was towed in guys will not start from my understanding it's been sitting for a long time let's see what we got under here oh three five uh wow look how rusty yes this has definitely been sitting for a while look at that no start okay we got they put a battery in it so i got enough juice let me see what happens okay if it's a no crank or no start or it just won't start i don't know about to find out uh-oh hold on I'm getting the click. Y'all hear that? You turn the key to the crank position. You heard that click? So what that tells me, guys, is power supply is getting to the starter. All right. The solenoid is attempting, is trying to energize. For whatever reason, it's not turning the flywheel. Flex plate, which will in turn turn the engine over that's when the ignition system supposed to kick in and uh the car start somewhere in that whole process there's a breakdown in communication all right um uh, i don't know this engine is so old let me see oh no it's gonna break i can feel it oh no i don't want it to break on me Come on, man. Don't do that. I just come out. Ah, yes. Yes, guys. And by the way, guys, if this do break on you, watch this video right here. I'll show you a special JT, the car guy's secret tip on how to get that out. But for now, let's see if any oil in this thing. Because a seized up motor would cause that also. Yes, there is oil in it. Good. Now. To prevent this from jamming in there, I always put a little lube right here. Okay, some kind of, I use transmission gel. But, uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, the starter's clicking, and now, does that automatically mean your starter is bad? Not necessarily. <laughs> the engine could just not be turning over, even though I just verified oil in it. Who knows the condition of the engine? So, what I'm going to do, also, the starter could be jammed. All right, the solenoid could be trapped behind a flywheel. What you should do, which is what I'm about to do, go get me a, a breaker bar and see if I can manually turn this uh, crankshaft. Okay, that's about an 18 millimeter head, I want to say. So let me go in the shop and grab an 18 millimeter breaker bar and see if this engine will even turn. All right, let's verify that first. All right, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Ooh, righty, guys. Here's what we got here. Let's see. Uh, I hope I hope I can get down in here. Good. I brought my <coughs> my shallow 18. Also, whew, cause good. I did not want to walk back in the shop. Now again, the goal. Let's talk about the goal. I want to see if this crankshaft would turn that would at least let me know that the engine is not seized from there oh i just turned it and i heard a little bump now so guys the engine is not seized up simply because i'm able to turn it and remember we found oil in the crankcase so let's see what happens now Nothing. Oh my goodness. I ain't even getting a click now. Okay. Before I was getting a click, when you turn the crank, I would hear the solenoid click. Now I'm not getting that. Yeah, what you hear in there is a uh, fact. Let me turn it off. Turn signal. 
Yeah, guys, what I'm going to do, because this is bothering me now. I'm going to go to the starter relay itself. Now, y'all know how I, I am with no crank problems. I test directly at the starter, okay? Pin 87, guys, of a typical ISO relay is going directly to the starter. What I'm going to do is bypass the relay, send 12 volts straight to that pin, and see if the engine even spins over. But in order to do that, number one, I need to know what a starter relay is. See, I hate when this fuse box do that. You're telling me numbers. Where is the location? So I have to go look this up, and I'm going to need a jump wire to jump 12 volts to pin 87. Just say if this is the starter relay. I don't know if this, let's use this slot. Okay, typically 87 is right here. This typical ISO relay, pin 30, 85 or 86, which is the coils, and 87 goes to the actual starter. So I'm gonna go get a jumper wire so I can jump from here to 12 volts and see if the engine spins over. And then I gotta also find out which one's the starter relay. I'll be right back, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, we're back. I have my test light hooked up to ground. After further checking, make sure this is a, uh, uh, the ports are so, after further, yeah, okay, it's ground. After further checking, guys, this is my starter relay. Okay, I had to go through some hulu poles just to find out which one the starter relay. Now, we all know, typical ISO relay. This is usually pin 30 power supply there. All right, so. This is usually pin 87, going straight to the starter. These are usually the coils. All right, one goes to the PCM and one uh, the crank, okay, from the key, signal from the key. So when it's energizing, this 12 volts would uh, energize over to pin 87, which will in turn supposed to energize the starter solenoid, which in turn supposed to start crank the car, all right? So I need 12 volts right there. So what I'm gonna do, I brought a piece of jumper wire right here. Let's see if we can manually put 12 volts right there and see if it spin over, guys. If it spin over, that circuit is complete. If it doesn't spin over, you either got an open circuit or the starter solenoid just shorted. All right, so I'm gonna go right here. We know that's 12 volts. I'm going to take the other end and stick it straight to uh -oh. See, I'm getting an arc, but it's not. Okay, guys. Either that starter is just shorted out. Because, see, the starter could be shorted out altogether. Let me see if this is a... Let me move this over to a positive. See if the starter. Yeah, see, pin 87 is partially. Okay, yeah, the starter. I don't want to think that circuit is open. What I mean by open is from the tip them to the actual starter itself. There's a wire leaving the tip them, the connectors. There's connectors under the tip them going directly to the starter. All right, I don't want to assume that's open because remember earlier. It tried to start. The very first time I came out here, it tried to start. So, guys, I don't want to... Yeah, this is not... I'm going to need a starter. Let me go out on the limb and say that. All right? Simply because my circuit is complete. All right? So, hypothetically, here's what we can do. Like I set this relay. We already determined this pin 87. I can set this relay partially in there. Stick my test light right here. Well, I'm going to move this back to ground. Well, try to get some ground. It's hard to find ground around here. All right, now. Okay, so that's grounded. Now, I can have somebody just spinning over. We know this pin 87. This should power up every time the key is cranked to the crank position or the key is turned to the crank position. That signals that complete circuit is complete. 
that signals that the circuit is definitely complete at that point. Okay, there's no obstruction as far as skim module or the car being in park because we're obviously getting the ground signal at pin 85, 86 coming from the crank. The car, in other words, the car is actually jumping. So let me find a helper and see if I'm getting 12 volts right here, guys, when you crank it. All right, hold tight. Just turn the key to the crank position. Let me see what happens. Like you're trying to start it. Yeah, I want to see if my test light light. I'm on pin 87, y'all. Let's see what we got. On off, on off, on off. Wow, guys, y'all see that? That circuit is complete. He's turning the crank key to the crank position on and off. That's it. Appreciate it. So I need a starter. This is what we got, guys. And again, this is to start. Okay, y'all remember the diagnosis I did. Uh, I'm trying to make these uh, one video. Uh, depending on, it depends. Okay, but this is a starter. Diagnosis as a starter. All right. Uh, what do you start? First thing to do, you're doing a starter. You guessed it. Let's take away, snatch away the electricity from the car. Let's disconnect the battery. Then I'm gonna let the car up in the air, guys. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys. Oh, look like a new cat. Whoa! Good. What? Look at this rusty. Oh, it is rust city under here, guys. All right, y'all know how I feel about rusty cars. I want to back out. Holy crap. All right, let me see how difficult. Okay, there's the starter. Here's the bolts that holds the starter. One, two, three. So it's fairly easy, right? Oh, this year model, I may have to remove the steering the uh, coupler off of the rack. Oh, this is a this is an easy job, guys. But because of a rust, I don't want nothing breaking on me. She just want a car to start. All right, I was gonna film this, but no need to. Let me explain to you what I'm doing. Start is easy. Three bolts holding it, guys. Take this coupler off the rack and uh, get it out your way, and your starter comes straight through here. I'm not filming this. Mar I'm, ooh, I'm frustrated. Oh. Yeah, they're not going to let me back out. Because she... Look at this. All right. Uh, let us let me see if I can get this in here, guys. Y'all stay tuned, man. Golly. All right, guys, I got it in, got it all hooked up. Got it tightened down. Now, let me let it down and go see if it start. I'm gonna leave this hanging for a net right now. I basically wanna know, <laughs> is the problem fixed? All right, so let's let it down and find out. Y'all ready? Let's get it. All right, guys, let's, uh, I'm just gonna place this on here. I ain't gonna even tighten it up. My thing is to see if it starts and run. Cross your fingers, fellas. Let's see what happens. Yes! Ah! Yeah! Woo! It lives! All right, guys. After all that diagnosis we did, that's what it turned out to be uh, started. Now, starter circuit is pretty simple. This was a task because it was actually hard to do the starter. It's all rusted out, guys. All right, so. I hear and see what I need to see. So now, let me finish putting the car together, guys. All right, a little smoking. I don't know. That might be from that. Uh, that uh, y'all see what I had the result to? Yes, this saves the day once again. <laughs> PB blaster. Oh my goodness, save the day, baby. All right, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching.